Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your firearm in seven simple steps. There are a lot of different cleaning tools and products out there, but today I'll be using this kit. Um, I'll link it below. I like it because it's compact and it has everything that I need. Before we begin, the most important thing to do is unload your firearm. This means taking the magazine out and also checking to ensure there is no bullet in the chamber. You'll probably want a workspace. Today I'm going to be using paper towel, but you could also use newspaper or a placemat or something else. I also like to use gloves because I don't want to get my oils on the firearm and I don't want to get the cleaning solution on my skin. Okay. Step two is to break down your pistol. So this used to be the most intimidating part for me. Since every firearm is different, if you don't know how to break down your pistol, I would recommend going on YouTube and finding how to do it for your specific firearm. Now that everything's apart, I'm going to wipe the pieces down. I like to be as neat and tidy with this as I can, so I wipe it down first before adding the cleaning solvent. As you can see, that removed a lot of the residue. So next, I'm going to use a clean cloth and wipe everything down with this solvent. I like that it's pink. Next, it's time to clean the inside of the barrel. For this, you're going to need a bore brush at the end of a rod. Put a little bit of solvent on the brush. Push it all the way through and back several times until nothing else is coming out on the cloth. After you've used solution, wipe everything down really well. Okay, now the solvent I used today has a lubrication inside so I wouldn't necessarily need to lubricate my firearm. However, if your solution and lubricant are separate, check your owner's manual to see what the manufacturer recommends. Some basic suggestions would be the metal rail contact points, inside the slide rails, the barrel. You can also look for shiny areas where the metal is showing wear or any places where metal rubs on metal. Here's an example of a lubricant. This one has its own applicator. If you have a lubricant that doesn't, you could always use a cotton swab to apply a little bit of lubricant. And keep in mind, a little goes a long way. Okay, now it's time to reassemble your firearm. it's all back together, slide the rack several times to spread out the lubricant. 
You can use this opportunity to see if any lubricant has come out, especially if this gun is used for concealed carry because you don't want to get any oil on your clothes. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like and comment below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.